r slash ask reddit what is surprisingly still legal in 2019 civil forfeiture in which the government can take your assets if you're just suspected of a crime under the pretense that said assets were related to the crime charges may never be filed but the assets may be kept if you can't definitively prove that the assets were not involved in any crime you essentially have to prove your assets innocence in order to get them back guilty until proven innocent all right all right you're innocent but your shit is guilty f the argument is literally we're taking legal action against your stuff your stuff doesn't have constitutional protections like people do the big shiny download button which is really not the download button and when clicked takes you to this page which claims that my mac has been infected by a virus and now i need to download their software to save it always gotta hover your mouse over all six download buttons to check the errors it's so annoying from my experience the real download button is almost always the least flashy one child marriage in the u.s this is true in most of the world i have loved ones who were engaged to be married at the ages of 8 and 11. it's not right or appropriate but it has always been the case in the vast majority of countries during the vast majority of centuries that children are married it's not just the united states it's honestly the entire world except for maybe six or eight countries where it doesn't happen even in countries where it is illegal it still happens for religious and cultural reasons every day colon scalping particularly the large-scale schemes perpetuated by Ticketmaster or artists in an attempt to make a few extra dishonest bucks for a second i thought you meant taking the scalps of natives and turning them in for a bounty lol lol yep pretty sure you'd get in a bit of trouble for that being an elderly driver no i do not mean 85 year old people who are borderline in 2019 in the US you could be 107 and bed bound with a still legitimate driver's license. You can't walk, but you can still cruise around in your 2002 Mercury if you want. What's interesting to me is that if someone keeps practicing driving at a higher level they can keep going basically until they die yet so many elderly people don't put in an effort leading to them slowly declining in skill until they can't even commute safely. There's a 93 year old that does club races at our local track which is rated one of the most dangerous tracks in the world and he does it year after year without incident. He's old enough that he has to get a physical mental check up every 6 months to keep his racing license. I only have to do that every 5 years. Pugs. Breeding pugs. Those poor animals go through so much pain literally living is suffering. Overbred. Overmutated. There needs to be license or temp breeding ban on them telemarketing on top of political i got on some list and get 25 slash week asking if i want to sell my house grrr for real telemarketing was absolutely out of control in the late 90s then they introduced the no call lists which helped but didn't solve the problem then people switched to cell phones and ditched landlines and for a while i thought the problem was pretty much solved now I get like a dozen scam likely calls a day and the FCC doesn't do shit about it. I've cut down a lot of these by blocking numbers as they come in. Hasn't solved the problem obviously since they are always new or fudge but I'd say in 5 years of blocking they've gone down by 90%. MLMs. My wife got invited to one of these presentations. It came with a free breakfast bar. We both know it's BS. But I was jealous that I couldn't go for the entertainment since I had work. She was updating me the whole time. Took over 1 hour and 45 minutes until they mentioned the product. Some sort of aloe vera drink that is miraculous. Even sillier since it grows wildly around here everywhere. Had a roommate that was selling Mona Vi. That shit was like $40 or $50 bottle. They were touting how it had all these juice superfoods and that's why it was so expensive. I did some searching and found you could end up with about the same variety of superfoods if you bought 3 different flavors of naked juice. Now, granted, the naked juices were $10 EA, so you'd been in $30, but you also now had 3x more juice for like $10 15 less. Big Pharma charging 10x more for the same medicine in the US than the rest of the world. Child pageants. There's always a diddler involved at some point. Pharmaceutical advertisements. 
And yet if a sales rep gives so much as a free pen to a doctor it is considered a stark violation. 3 million dollar Super Bowl commercial advertising to beer drinking 20 30 year olds. Perfect. Wait really? What about the free lunches every single day from the farm reps? The one thing they can legally do. Same as every other business. Very strict how they watch even that. Need the names and signatures of every person that accepts a cookie or burrito. Not compliant with that? Get a letter from the Dodge. Herbalife. In my opinion. The whole industry should be banned. For profit prisons. A hundred years after they finally end. They'll be looked upon with the same horror we look at. Say, using children as chimney sweeps. My state outlawed them. Yay Colorado. Internet provider monopolies. Looking at you Canada. Campaign bribes contributions to politicians. Money is speech. You know. S. Kids using UV tanning beds. Some states in the US. Price gouging on life saving meds. Insulin. Epipens. Cancer drugs. Etc. Payday loans. Roommate is considering one. I've told her I'll gladly give her the money she needs. Just please. For the love of duck. Don't get herself wrapped up in those. That $800 you need very quickly becomes $2000 they demand. Bestiality is still legal in 10 states. Always wondered why bestiality becomes bestiality when discussing it as a practice. Guess I'll find out next visit stateside. It took me a second to get this was a joke and already started explaining. For the case, though, that someone comes by now and actually wonders why that is. The word is derived from Latin bestia, wild animal I believe. Only having 10 minutes with an attorney if you can't afford a lawyer. While slavery is illegal there is still a huge amount of things which we buy that are produced by slaves or by people paid a tiny wage. But who are essentially still slaves in all but name. I really wish that there was some kind of law in place to punish the sale of goods produced by slavery, child labor, or workers without adequate pay and adequate rights. You can do a lot of shit that's otherwise illegal if you just say that it's religion. Avoid taxes. Have your kid undergo medical procedures that they don't need. Have your child not undergo medical procedures that they do need. Child marriage. Anti-vaxxers. When my wife and I were checking out different pediatricians before our first child was born. One of the ones we went to told us if you do not wish to have vaccinations. We respect your choice. We just ask that you and your child continue your journey together elsewhere. That was when we knew that we had the right pediatrician. Excessive product packaging. You buy a box of cereal only to find a bag of cereal inside it. Don't even get me started on the fact that it's only half full. Then there's the theft proof. Customer proof. Plastic clamshell packaging that you have to risk life and limb while trying to open with a razor blade. And then you have the child proof. Elderly proof. Pill bottles. We have a freaking island of plastic garbage floating in the Pacific Ocean and what I mentioned above is why. Uh in Michigan it is technically against the law for a woman to cut her hair without her husband's permission. But this is commonly believed, but is actually a myth. There was a court case in 1940s where the court found that a woman's hair, that she had sold to be used for wigs, was not her sole property, but was part of the marital estate and was subject to the few coverture laws that still existed in Michigan at the time. Coverture is an old common law principle that said that a married woman's property was controlled by her husband. Michigan had started abolishing it in 1844, and it was entirely abolished by 1963, so it is fully legal for a woman to cut her hair. Dog shows, where they keep inbreeding dogs for a certain tray appearance regardless of the known health issues that causes. I don't own a dog, so not sure how bad it is. Smoking whilst having your kids in your car. I knew a dad who only opened his car window just enough to toss his ashes. And closed them in between cause this wind is bad for my neck. Meanwhile we were dying in the back. Insider trading is legal for members of the US Congress. Technically it's not legal but they have decided that they will never be investigated for it. So. Lobbying. It's been said a million times but it bears repeating. Lobbying is fine. 
It's when money is used during the process to grease the wheels that is the problem. We should all be able to voice our concerns to our representatives. But money shouldn't ever be involved. Precisely. Lobbying is just the mechanism by which groups of people bring their concerns to the attention of elected officials. That's not only fine, it's necessary, but like most things in a modern society, it needs to be tracked, regulated, and scrutinized. Child beauty pageants, smoking drinking while pregnant, arranged marriages. Eminent domain. Basically states the government can seize your property as long as they compensate you fairly for it. Except the government decides how much a fair amount is. It's usually used when the government needs to build infrastructure like highways and bridges. Squatters rights. Paternity fraud. If I tried to steal 18 years of revenue from anyone by any other method I'd be thrown in jail. But a woman can claim a guy is the father of a child, knowing he isn't and receive a sizable portion of his income for the better part of two decades. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.